Hello world. <laughs> Running errands, getting groceries, getting a car wash. It's a good time. It's Friday, thank fucking God. And yeah, I have no plans. So just trying to be productive. So far, so good. Howdy. It's actually like two days later now, it's Sunday. After that car washing clip, I continued to do all of my productive tasks that I mentioned. I got groceries, all that good shit. And then I actually ended up going down to LA to meet up with a very special person who I have not seen in a very long time. We just bopped around Manhattan Beach and had a very wonderful evening and now i'm gonna go meet up with my friend and get lunch and she is moving out of santa barbara so this is our farewell lunch at least for a while super bittersweet i am so happy to spend time with her but i don't want to see her go anyways that's what we're doing stay tuned i'm back from lunch with my friend it was so good I'm gonna miss her so much. We had such a good chat about such important topics of life and love and happiness. And I'm just gonna miss her so fucking much, but I am very happy for her and so proud of her about where she's at on her life journey. And I just feel super inspired and grateful to have someone that amazing in my life. And I'm so sad that she's leaving. <laughs> Life's crazy. Her and I would have never met unless I had been going through a super tumultuous time a few years ago and was looking for a roommate and found her on Craigslist. So weird how shit like that works. On a less spiritual note, I'm gonna go shopping now and go see what I can find at the thrift. Check out this Porsche. I want that. So I just got back from thrifting and it was a slow start, but ended up being quite a success. I spent $53 which was a pretty big haul. First item, I got this hoodie. It says Alien Labs, which I don't know what that means, but I just liked the color palette. The way that I would style this is essentially the exact outfit that I'm wearing. This bag. Super on brand for me. And then this t-shirt says I'm not the model. Not yet anyways. <laughs> I'll be modeling one of these days, but for now, I am not the model. I just needed some more t-shirts that were not super oversized. I feel like this will be good for layering. Could layer it with this. Could even wear it with these same pants, same shoes. Great addition to my denim collection. I now have three denim jackets, one denim long sleeve, a denim vest, and now a denim shirt. Then I got this t-shirt. Similar concept, it says Zuma Beach. Got that graphic on the back. Big fan of Zuma Beach in Malibu. Then I got these pants that are kind of like brownish gray cargos. And they are way too short for me. Maybe with like high top. Hold on. I had to put on the whole outfit to get the full effect with this like black muscle tee that has deodorant on it. Super cute. And then also, this I saw two seconds before checking out and I'm so thrilled. So cute. And then I just got this baseball tee. That's really unexciting. The next thing I got was this basic, and it's just a really pretty color. All right, this top I'm so excited about because it's extremely versatile. I could put a leather jacket on top, or really we could get extra fancy. Something like this. Mm, picturing this very different in my head. I'm also just destroying my whole closet right now. Okay, wait, I figured it out. This may be my greatest fashion moment of all time. This is what I'll be wearing when I am working in a music label every day. I am a fashion icon. Thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. Hand-me-downs, thrifted. Most expensive item, this stupid tank top. I don't ever want to take it off. I've never felt hotter. Um, I stand corrected. Needs a little ironing, but this shirt? Oh my god. I'm so cute.
Anyways, now I need to deal with all that. Hey, closing out the vlog here. It's Monday night now, and I'm about to go to an all women's guitar jam circle that I found on Craigslist. So we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to wrap this up here and look forward to next week's vlog. Okay, bye. Um, Quick update after just getting done with that. That. <laughs> group and experience was so goddamn funny. I don't know what I thought I was walking into, but what I didn't expect was to everyone to be like 60 plus. I felt like a spring chicken in there. And not only that, but that was the gayest thing I've ever been a part of. I could feel the queer in the room. So good, such a blast. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> I can't believe what I just stumbled upon because it's so inexpensive like it's essentially donation based and she provided so many materials and we just jammed and it was just a judgment free zone that was everything now i'm ending the vlog life's crazy when you fucking put yourself out there <laughs> ah. all right bye